Alright, in today's video, how to sum two numbers together in Python. In other words, how to add two numbers in Python. So, what we're going to do today is first look at how to do some things here in the Python shell, in the terminal, and then later we're going to move over to VS Code where I have set up a function and as well a user input exercise. And we'll go through both of those and we'll kind of learn how to add two numbers together, sum two numbers, um, in a bunch of different ways to make sure that this is super clear for everyone watching. So I know that this is more of a beginner video than I would normally make. Um, so I'll try to, I don't know, I'll try to include a lot of details and explanations here. All right, so let's get started. So the most basic thing you want to know is that adding numbers together is pretty easy. So let's just say we want to add one plus two. It's just as simple as that. One plus two is three. 5 plus 10 is 15. And so all you're really using is that uh, plus from your keyboard, and that'll work just fine. Now, taking this a step further, of course, you could add, say, three numbers together or four numbers together, and that's going to work just fine, right? So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 16. So hopefully this makes sense at a basic level. The next thing I wanted to show you guys, we'll just clear the screen, is how to do this with variables. And a variable is when you assign something, right? So we can assign a equals 5 and then b equals 10. And then instead of just doing our 5 plus 10, uh, we could instead do it as a plus b. And that will return 15 as well. And if we did say c equals 100, then we could do a plus c equals 105, right? We've added uh, 5 and 100 together. So hopefully that makes sense. In the Python shell, very simple, just using the uh, plus symbol from your keyboard, and you're going to be good to go. All right, so now let's move over to VS Code, where I've set up two exercises involving both a function and a user input, and uh, we're going to have some fun with this one. So the first thing we're going to do is go through a function. Uh, so I have named this function sum2. And um, if you're unfamiliar with functions, um, you're going to want to read a bit about that uh, somewhere else. But basically, we've set up a function that takes two arguments, a and b. And you might notice that we're not actually calling this function yet. So this is a function we've created, but we're not using it anywhere here. And so when um, I comment this out, and when I run this, nothing's actually going to happen because I'm not calling the function yet. So to call the function, I'm going to uncomment this print line. And so here we have uh, our print where I'm just writing sum equals just so you can see it uh, when we run it. And then here is where we actually call the function. So you see how um, I'm using this syntax sum to. Um, I'm calling the function, and what I'm doing is I'm passing two numbers to the function. So this is a and then this is b. I can make them different numbers just if that makes it like a little easier to understand. So a is 50 and then b is 20, right? And then so when we run this again, we can see that sum equals 70. And if we want to just kind of like um, confirm this, then we can do a, print that out, and then uh, we'll do the same thing for b. We can put B here, print that out, and when we run this again, we can see that A equals 50, B equals 20, and then the sum is 70. And so the magic is happening. The magic of the, the sum 2, or what the, the function is actually doing, is just this simple A plus B here, which we remember from the terminal. So all it is, just using that plus sign from our keyboard, uh, A plus B. Um, I don't even think you need these brackets necessarily. I might be wrong. Um, no, you don't. So we can just run this again, a plus b, and that is our sum to function. So what I'm going to do is actually comment this out again, um, but I'm going to leave this function. And I'm going to leave this function, um, and by leave it I mean not comment it out. And I'm going to leave this function because we're actually going to use it again here in this user input exercise. So you can see how I have the sum2 function here, and we're actually going to basically reuse the function from above, and we're going to reuse it uh, with our user input. So this will make sense in a second. Let me clear my terminal, 
and now let's um, get into this second exercise. So I also want to uncomment this print here um, so that we can get our output and what we're going to do is run this and you can see first that there's enter two numbers is written here because I've just kind of created that uh, print statement and then we have a uh, user input so we're using the input keyword and that um, basically forces an input here in the shell and so for a we'll do say I don't know um, 33 and then B will do say 100 and then when I click enter uh, C will run and return our uh, response of 133 um, I'll run this again with two different numbers let's just say one and then two, and then C equals three. So you can see how we've used this function again. Um, and maybe kind of like using functions and the reusability of functions. I wanted to emphasize that a little bit, but maybe it's confusing. So I also wanted to show you that you could just do it as simple as A plus B here, right? So we've created our variable A coming from the user input. We've created our variable B coming from the user input, and then C, is just a plus b right and so we can run this again um, we can do say 44 and b is 33 and then so c is 77 so you can see that of course the math is the same um, the logic is completely the same except now i'm not using that function we created i'm just doing a plus b um, so i just kind of wanted to show you a couple different ways that you can do it. I know that this exercise using input, this exercise, sorry, using input is pretty common in uh, beginner Python classes, things like that, uh, getting you used to the basics of math and Python. And that's why I wanted to highlight this exercise here for you today. The last part about this exercise I wanted to highlight is that you can see that we're using this int built-in function and we're wrapping it around the output so I know you might be wondering why are we doing that and so I just want to show you that if I removed say the int here from B uh, when we go to run this again we're gonna get an error saying that this is a string so basically B here is a string and we could actually print this out to check and what you want to do is do is, is wrap type around uh, the variable so we can do type for a and then we can also check the type for B and I haven't fixed this yet um, so it's gonna create an error again but I just want to show you right so we'll do a is 4 B is 5 and we can see that a is an int of course because we've wrapped int around it um, but B is a string so the general idea here is that um, inputs when you kind of input something in the keyboard like we did here it's um, by default going to uh, be assigned as a string so by default your input is going to be a string and we can actually change the type change the data type from a string to an integer and we're going to need to do that we're going to need integers in order to do the math necessary for this exercise so you can see that when i wrap int again around um, around our B variable and around that input when we run this again and we throw some numbers in here we can see that both are ints now and we're good to go we can add that up adds to 11 and works just fine so if you do have an exercise similar to this uh, just know that you're going to want to use that int built-in function uh, somewhere most likely in order to be able to do the math successfully so um, let me know in the comments or send me a message if you have any questions about this exercise. I wanted to show you a bunch of different ways to do it. Um, you know, we've done a function, we've done an input, we've done some stuff uh, here in the Python shell. So overall, just trying to look at a couple different ways to add numbers to some numbers in Python. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.